The 2011 Lasker Bloomberg Public Service Award honors the Clinical Center of the National Institutes of Health for serving since its inception as a model research hospital, providing innovative therapy and high quality patient care, treating rare and severe diseases, and producing outstanding physician scientists whose collective work has set a standard of excellence in biomedical research. When Congress gave this gift to the American public of the Clinical Center in 1953, they recognized the value of doing clinical research. And they put in place an environment that was extraordinary. At the cornerstone laying for the clinical center, President Truman's words emphasized the government's commitment to advancing the frontiers of medicine. Modern medicine must find ways of detecting these diseases in their early stages and of stopping their destructive force. That'll be the major work of this clinical research center. So the goal for the clinical center was to come up with novel approaches to prevent diseases. And that vision was very rapidly fulfilled. The impact of the government's investment in the clinical center has been to provide cures and prevent diseases for millions. 21 years. Mandy Young is an example of a patient who has a rare disease who came to the NIH when she was about age nine. The observation is, is that your white cells, because of this abnormality, do not make certain chemicals. The first nine years of my life, um, no hospital or doctor felt like they could help me. They said that my body was further advanced than medicine and that medicine had to catch up to me. To unravel the secrets of science, the Clinical Center connects bedside observations with laboratory inquiries, generating new understanding about the causes of disease and how to diagnose, treat, and prevent them. The Clinical Center does two things. It does first in human studies with the new drug, and it studies patients with rare diseases. In the study of rare diseases, which we now know can be very important from the point of view of trying to develop therapies for these patients, but also important for understanding uh, the biologic or causative etiologic basis of the common diseases. The Clinical Center provides the ideal environment for translational medicine with observations flowing back and forth from patients to the research lab. In some ways, this was both bench to bedside and really bedside to bench because it was the clinical proof that this was relevant that really uh, has propelled the field. What was unique about the Clinical Center is that there's no time limits. You, you're free to explore, you're free to take a serendipitous lead and follow it through to its conclusion. At the NIH Clinical Center, patients are respected as an integral part of the team. All the care they receive is without cost, as only through their contribution can the physician scientists move medicine forward. We consider our patients our partners in the clinical research effort, and they really are. Privilege. Really privileged to be here. This is an extraordinary place, and to be able, two things, one, to be treated by among the best in the world, but also to be a part of research. It's, it's really amazing because they, they really care. We're right at the forefront of what is being discovered, what is being experimented with. The breakthroughs made by the Clinical Center's physician scientists have transformed once fatal diseases to chronic diseases and found cures once thought impossible. I, I was here when the genetic code was broken by Nirenberg. I was here in the G, for the Genome Project. I was here when uh, cancer chemotherapy was multi-drug cancer chemotherapy was started. So in the span of about a decade, three major clinical discoveries were made leading to the principle that you could actually treat cancer and cure cancer. And that had profound impact on both scientists, uh, physicians, and society for provided real hope for the treatment of cancer in general. Seeing the hepatitis C test bring transfusion transmission down to virtual zero uh, 
compared to what we had seen in the decades before was really, I mean, prevent, prevented millions in case of cases of hepatitis uh, across the country. We have something called the Undiagnosed Diseases Program, which is a program that brings patients who have a medical problem that is, so to say, stumped the stars, and they will get reviewed for their medical problem by a team of doctors who represent all medical specialties. Throughout its history, the Clinical Center has boasted a cadre of physician scientists who dedicated their talents not only to research, but also to the training of the next generation. Most of the leaders of American medicine trained here. They were all part of the growth of the Clinical Center and of the NIH in general. It's a wonderful opportunity to treat and understand rare diseases that patients have. For the first time in my medical education, I have the opportunity to engage in cutting-edge research with patients. Our mentors are brilliant clinicians and scientists. I really hope to foster a relationship with the other scientists and staff and my mentor while I'm here. I think that uh, collaboration is a, an increasing part of medicine nowadays. No infections. No infections. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's good That's news. Very good. They gave me hope and inspiration where everyone else was giving up on me. And then finally someone giving me a chance and saying, okay, I'll take a chance on you and we'll, we'll figure this out together. From its inception, the Clinical Center has advanced the boundaries of medical knowledge and clinical care. We're very proud of the accomplishments that have happened over the last 60 years at the Clinical Center. And our hope for the future is that we will continue to make these transformative changes in healthcare delivery and improve the quality of life for Americans and citizens worldwide. For the last 50 years, the linear increase in life expectancy has really been a function of medical innovation. New devices, new drugs, new surgical interventions, new preventions, all of which have relied enormously on the American public's investment in the NIH in general, and in particular, the role of the clinical center in leading that discovery effort.